Hello, it's Friday the 1st of June. I'm Richie Davis. And I'm Resi Gadja and welcome to a very special Diamond Jubilee edition of Tea Time. Yes, it's very exciting, it which is. is why we have got a royal lineup for you this evening. Yeah, that's right. On today's show, we'll be discussing the top stories of the week. Julie Bristol will be showing us how to create the perfect buttercream icing to decorate yum, yum. your Jubilee cupcakes. Yum. Then we'll be following the Queen on her royal tour through Bromley. We meet Amber, who will be sharing her story of suffering from a stroke at the young age of 19. And joining us live in the studio, we have the up-and-coming band, The Deets, ready to kick-start the weekend. Yes. So, do you have any plans for the Jubilee Bank holiday, do you? Oh, I do. I've got my friend's wedding. Really? What are you doing? Oh, well, I'm going to have a big old summer barbecue and oh. a good old British knees up in my Lovely. garden. Lovely. Well, uh, <laughs> if you're having a barbecue or a street party or anything like that, please let us know about it. Tweet us at Tea Time TV or have your say on our Facebook page. Yeah, that's right. Well, here now with the big stories of the week, we have Anthony Harris. Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hello. So, what gossip has been going on? Tell, what tell. What gossip has been going on? Well, there's plenty going on, isn't there? 2012 is the year we have the Olympic torch. And yeah, the Olympics mm, coming that's up, right. So that's all very exciting. So where's that? Because the torch is going all around the country at the moment. It so is. where is it at the moment? Right now, so it's just above Wales, just Lovely. below Liverpool, with right. James Hughes, who right, has raised okay. thousands of pounds for blind charities, done a great job there. So he's got the privilege of carrying that. He's the man holding it right now. Oh, brilliant. So, yeah, so privileged people, people that have contributed to society, all getting to take that you know, I really like the idea of the torch going around because it's a good it's way good, to get it? everyone it's together. Really nice. and exactly. I'm looking forward to it coming it's into my hometown. Builds up, everybody up. Builds up yeah. the anticipation yeah. as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm moving on to uh, the television and I'm going to go to Centre Pages. Reality TV, TV. Reality TV strikes oh, again. The voice. TV. The voice. Everybody's talking about the voice. Now, the what voice. we have here is uh, Tyler James. Uh, basically, yeah. he's saying that this competition saved his life. So going on yes. The Voice saved his life. Quite a statement, what, isn't it? It's quite yeah. a statement. I mean, what do you think about reality TV? Because Does it we make have the or ups, break you? Exactly, make or yeah. break. We've got the ups and the downs. Yeah. We see the successes and we see the failures, don't yeah. we? Leona Lewis. Yeah. Leona yeah. Lewis. Yeah. Great Girls Allowed. Girls Allowed. JLS. Alexandra Burke, what do we think about Alexandra? Alexandra Burke, mm. she's, she's oh, a good one. She Dion got dropped by a label, just, which has been just uh, dedicated her award to her, which is a massive... Dionne wow. Warwick. Yeah, Dionne Warwick herself. That's, That's a big thing to do. But then That's again, big. on the flip side, we've then got... Um, who is it? It's just Joe Oh, Joe McEldry, yep. Matt Cardle. Yeah. So yeah. they're kind of built up and they, they get these competitions, they come second mm. or first, and then mm. they think, That's it, they're pop stars. Yeah. yeah. Then all of a sudden, they haven't That's sold the record. I think it's a reflection on the Drops. shows, isn't it? You know. So I think now we're seeing shows more about talent, yeah, rather definitely. than the the frenzy and the freak show aspect, yeah. which it has been a little bit. And I and I like X that. It's turning into yeah. it's turning a bit more about the voice, the talent, the artist. And I and I would say, you know. Um, Staying in the limelight and doing these reality shows, it's about having that star quality. Yes. Yeah. And I think the stars with that star quality, they're the ones that are going to What I, what I want to say is Tyler James, uh, he's saying that he, he used to be depressed and he was drinking yeah, a lot and then yeah, yeah, yeah. the voice happened. What if now he's on this high, <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere? And he, yeah, yeah, it's you have to dangerous. Yeah. dangerous. It and that's but that's when we see you know the stories about the priory and the yeah, and that's exactly. then the follow up for the media. So um, it's kind of a wait and see. What, what annoys me is back in the day of like Elvis Presley, mm -hmm. back in the day of like Tina Turner, Madonna. they work so Madonna, hard, of course, they? They, they strive. Natural yeah. stardom. Natural stardom, yeah. natural talent, yeah, and exactly. that's why they're, you know, where they got to or wherever yeah, they exactly. are today. They didn't need all this, you know, the tabloids pull people apart. I they think you so do much. have to be really careful because a good example is Big Brother with Jade Goody. Like <sighs> Channel mm. 4 made Jade Goody. They made her who she was. She got a lot from it. And then Story after that, there. she went back on it, and because of making one racist comment, that was it. That was her yeah. career gone. So you TV, have to be, be careful. You have to be really, Very really careful. careful. All right, now um, let's talk about Jubilance why we're here today. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my God, Who's like, oh, God Jubilee? Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's oh, it's, oh, not, it's one, not officially two, a party until we do this. Go on. <laughs> she she okay, has to get brilliant. in. Very good. I've been had dying to do that one. Had Right, Diamond Jubilee. Let's chat my TV. Okay. So, all so, very jolly, isn't what it? What are your yes. plans for my, the Jubilee? My personal plans, yes. uh, I will be dining overlooking the Thames, uh, the flotilla, it's going to be great. I'm really pleased London has provided the Queen with this fabulous boat. That's going to be really great. And then on the Monday, I'll be catching the Jubilee concert outside Buckingham Palace. Be there uh, in Hyde Park. Kylie's Palm. playing. Yeah. Kylie's playing. Oh, Shirley Kylie. Bassey, oh, uh, Gary Barlow, the real stars. Yeah. And then I will be camping out until Tuesday on the Mall. <laughs> Look out for me, won't but you? Gary Barlow's just written the song, the official Jubilee song, isn't oh, it? Which has there's it? 
choir coming over yes. from Uganda, which I recorded mm -hmm. with yesterday. Uganda. They are going to be singing with him on the stage. So that's really exciting. Show a bit of unity internationally. Do you know what? I think it's great. The Commonwealth. We mustn't forget the Commonwealth. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and don't you like feel really patriotic? And everyone's coming together, and these yeah. celebrations are happening. Absolutely. Red, white, and blue. Sixty years. Sixty years and sixty it's a long magnificent time. years. You know. And this is going to be the only time we'll get to experience this. So we yes. might as well make the most of it. Well, I'm waiting for William and Catherine's. Oh. <laughs> that would be great. The Royal Baby Eater, you're jumping you know, ahead. Olympics, I've got it all planned jumping in Jumping ahead Olympics, just a little bit. I know, okay. I know, I know. We'll there get too excited. There definitely is a lot going it's about on. The queen a lot going as soon on. as it happens, let us know. I shall let you know. Yeah. I'll give you a text. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks Thank for having you me. very great. much. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> yes. Now, everyone <laughs> loves a good cupcake. So come and join us as we make some delicious icing. As you can see, Richie's gone over into the kitchen now with Julie, who will be giving us the perfect tips for the perfect cupcakes. Hello. <laughs> Here I am over in the cookery area with me, Julie. Hello, Julie. Hi. Right, so the rise of the cupcake. It's come back with a massive bang, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Well done. I don't want to miss the cupcakes. Uh, why, do you, <laughs> why, why does she have to stand next to me? Why do you Sorry. have to? Sorry. All right, so going right back to basics. I mean, cup, when yeah. I think of a cupcake, I think of really old school you know, um, like I think fairy it, cakes. Well, yeah, fairy they cakes. used to be fairy cakes, didn't they? Now yeah. all of a sudden, the cupcake has come back with a bang. I mean, um, people are replacing them as birthday cakes. Yeah, I was in a restaurant are. a couple of weeks ago, and somebody was celebrating their birthday. Instead of having the, the usual cake, they had like a tray of amazing home cooked cupcakes with all the candles and everything. I think I prefer a cupcake to a birthday cake. It's a fashion. I love yeah. them. It's I love fashion. them. There's so much you can do with them. So yummy, and they're I mean, just. It's a good, like, how did they all come around? Like, where did they come from? Well, like you said, they originated from fairy cakes as growing up. That's why I remember them to be fairy yeah. cakes. But, you know, they're just like individual treats that you could hold in the palm of your hand. And yeah. Do you know what? When yeah. you say about growing up, yeah. I, I'm from Cornwall, and kind of like a Cornish tradition is on a Sunday, yeah. you would have your roast dinner. Yeah. And then at tea time, I see what I did there. Um, and then, <laughs> <laughs> then at tea time, we would have um, basically cupcakes and home cooked Aww, stuff. So these really nice. remind me of my childhood, but I, mm. I think they've been funked up quite a lot. Oh, yeah, they? definitely. Yeah. And I always remember them from Sex and the City. I know for all those girls out there, if you've ever seen Sex and the City, the girls always used to go, you know, to the cupcake shop. Mm. And they'd always sit and have their cupcakes and drink their tea. And I think that's maybe correct. that's why it's become so popular. But I love them. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. what is it you're making right here? So here, I'm making the frosting for the cupcakes right. okay. to, um, to prepare them ready for the pie pin. Cool. Okay, so what goes into that? Right, so in this bowl, um, yeah. I've got 250 grams of icing powder, mm -hmm. yeah. um, 80 grams of unsalted butter, right, okay. and some vanilla essence. Mm -hmm. Okay. And lemon? You can have lemon to give it a bit of zing. A bit of, a bit of, a bit of, a bit of yeah. So and add um, any food colourings, like you could have red or blue. Yep. Or yeah. just have, you know, just leave So it's it quite easy color. to make because I'm really rubbish at baking. <laughs> I just cannot bake it's whatsoever. Easy. So the children can It looks quite easy. In. And I think that's a good thing as well, especially with the Jubilee weekend coming up. It's yeah. good to be able to you know, have all the kids over yeah, and like, you can give them can a little party in. and they can all decorate their own little cupcakes. So these, these are fat and calorie free, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. only. If you lose right, OK, so we're going to be decorating cupcakes, yeah? Because I see yeah. you've done a beautiful job there. Right. Mine's definitely going to be better than Richie's. OK, what? Well, is this now. a competition? It is a competition. I'm very it's a competition. competitive. Right. I'm very okay. competitive. Here we go. OK, right, that's yours. I'm going to go this I'll side you. Okay. because I don't trust myself with the piping bag in this one. I don't want him to cheat and see what I'm doing. <laughs> Cheat. Look, right, here's mine. Give you the red one? So are you gonna? Are you, can you show me how to do one first? Okay, I'll show you how to do. Just so I know, mm -hmm. I can watch from the professional. Right. So once you've okay. got your frosting all in the bowl, you yeah. put it into that piping bag. Okay. You spoon it in. Um, yeah. You've got various nozzles. So this okay. one here is called the closed star. Closed, okay. Closed star. And do they give like a different effect then when they come out? Yeah. They right. Do. Where, okay. could, where could somebody at home buy these nozzles? And, and From everything? any baker shop or any um, cake craft shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or online even. Right. Okay. And what if you don't have a piping bag? Is there any other way you of doing it? You could use um, baking paper. Oh, okay, cool. And, and sort of fold it in a triangle um, and cut the end off. So it won't go soggy from, I'm going to wait for the pink because I want to use the pink. <laughs> oh, you want, oh, she wants I love the pink, pink colour. Oh. So, yeah. so I've started um, going clockwise. Okay. So just take your time and bring the nozzle round. Yeah. And you can go as, you know, as high as you want, really. I right. really hope that mine turns out as good as that. Then once you've iced it, we've got all these <laughs> little crossed. bits and pieces here. We've got, uh, oh God, we've got marshmallows, we've got shaved chocolate, we've Loads got some sprinkles. stars and sprinkles. Things. Okay, well, are you ready? Okay, well, I'm the, ready. Are these are edible what? Edible, edible ball, silver balls. Oh. Edible silver balls. Okay, right, are okay, you ready? Cool. Yeah, ready. Right, let's try and do it in 30 seconds. Ready? Three, ah. two, one, go. go! I don't work well under pressure, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
So if you don't have this, oh my goodness, you did that quickly. Oh, so if you don't have the buttercream, is there anything else you can use instead? You can use um, um, <laughs> cream oh. cheese. Okay. You can use cream oh. cheese. Like, it, so it tastes like a um, Philadelphia. Cream cheese. Yeah. Yeah, oh, cream nice. cheese frosting uh, um, with some icing powder, <laughs> or um, you can use cocoa with the butter. Yeah. yeah what about so the different colours and, and flavourings? What kind of stuff do you like to use? Uh, um, running out of time. I, I like the vanilla to be honest, but you can use the lemon. <laughs> oh my goodness! You He's can use the lemon or you know anything to give it a bit of flavour. Or even yeah. jam. Jam's a really good one. You can put and add jam into your frosting. How long does the buttercream last? When will they go off? Forty-eight hours. Keep it in an oh. airtight container. Stick them in oh. the fridge. Oh. Who's won? Who's won? Me. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Da -da. And it's all for me. Mine is that definitely looks the better one. <laughs> Julie, Julie. Thank you very much. Thank you very You're much. Well, welcome. hopefully you guys at home have learned a few little tricks. <laughs> now, if you have any tips or you need the recipe, visit our website at www.teatime.tv. And still to come, we'll be interviewing Amber and Becky from the Stroke Association. We pop over to Tom Lee to see yes, how the cream do. got on on a visit. And we have an exclusive performance from the Deets that you don't want to miss. Don't go anywhere. See you after the break. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's your last one. <laughs> Hi there and welcome back to our very special Jubilee edition of Tea Time. And we have had loads of tweets coming in about your plans for the bank holiday weekend. Yeah, we have. The first one was from Jenny from Bath saying she's had a royal, she's having, sorry, a royal themed barbecue. Well, where's our Jenny, invite? Jenny, that sounds hey, where's fun. Our invite? I want to come. Uh, we've got Sarah from Northampton <laughs> says she loves the cup, my cupcake. And uh, she's Blada. definitely making, she's going to make some of her own. Well, I, I say, take a picture, tweet us, put it yeah, on our Facebook page. Yeah, send it Show in. Us, Although, Sarah, I yeah, don't think your cupcake <laughs> is going to be anywhere near as good as the one I made. <laughs> oh, crikey. OK, so um, let's have a look now at Bromley, because they celebrated the Queen's arrival upon yes, their did. high street. On this day, 60 years ago, Elizabeth Windsor was crowned at the age of just 25. The nation came together to watch as she took the coronation oath. The Queen is now the second longest serving monarch and Bromley was one of the many places visited by the Queen prior to the Jubilee. They were entertained by a number of bands and Morris dancers. Oh, it was fantastic. We, we've amazing. always wanted to play for the Queen and there we have it. And we did our Jubilee song as well. Yeah. It was amazing. And they waved at us. Did he? <laughs> Over 6,000 people came to see the Queen on the day. I wanted something original to do to kind of commemorate the occasion. I thought it would be great to do a life size bust of the Queen. Did she get to see it by any chance? Oh, no, unfortunately. After getting here at 7 in the morning, I was gutted. She was this close, but um, she missed it. It was amazing. How often does a queen come to a place like this and honour so many people at once? It's amazing. How are you finding the atmosphere? Atmosphere is brilliant. So many screams, so many cheers, all the way down. It's like a ripple effect in the crowd. Is this the first time that you've ever seen the queen? It's the first time I've ever seen the queen. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, what will you be doing for the Diamond Jubilee? Uh, for the Diamond Jubilee, I'm actually not here. <laughs> I, I'm away on holiday. <laughs> there will be events held all over London, including the Big Jubilee Lunch and the Jubilee Pageant. So get yourselves down to your local street party. Bromley looked like they had a right great day with her. I know, they had a really good turnout and I really loved the Queen's hat she was wearing. But, uh, she looked like a little cupcake, didn't she? Oh, what, about, yeah. <laughs> what about that cake? Maybe. That fantastic, <laughs> if not a bit scary, that cake. It definitely <laughs> looks like it needs to be in Waxworks, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> OK, now, as many of us know, the Queen is a patron of many charities. A former charity she supported was the Stroke Association. Well, today, luckily, we're joined by representatives from that charity, Becky and Amber. Hello, Hi Becky and ladies. Amber. Hi, ladies. How are Welcome. you? So, Amber, you had a stroke at 19, didn't mm. you? So tell us what happened. Um, I was at uni. Yeah. Um, studying psychology at, at um, Southampton. Yeah. Um, I love Southampton. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Parties. Um, Cheap beer. <laughs> in um, 2009, um, 
August 2009. Yeah. Um, I had multiple strokes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to play ignorant. For somebody like me that's not familiar with what happens during a stroke, can you yeah. tell us what, what happened to you in a multiple stroke? Yeah. Um, legs, arms, leg, um, brain, lungs, um, the whole. So it's kind train. of all over. And yeah. did you did you experience any symptoms before? Um, apparently, um, I collapsed oh, and right. um, dizzy, um, migrams, yeah, and things. But um, the um, doctor said, "Don't worry." Oh, really? So yeah. you you, you went to the doctor complaining about migraines. Yeah. And they didn't Nervous. pick up the fact that yeah. it was going to be something yeah. more serious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because speaking to you earlier on in the green yeah. room, you, you also said that you can't remember a, a week. No. Before, no. so a whole week of your life is yeah. going to raise Com scary, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Because Becky, why do you think this happens to people at such a young age? It's not age specific. It can happen to anyone at any age, and that's why it's so important to know what causes a stroke and how yeah. to prevent it. What does cause a stroke? If so basically, it's know. common sense. So it's going to be drugs, binge drinking, smoking. <coughs> Sorry, uh, eating a healthy diet, doing regular exercise, also things like irregular heartbeats can cause strokes. So they're saying go and get them checked, even if you're not feeling unwell, because you may have one. High cholesterol, high blood pressure. It's really looking after yourself as a way it's to. Really to help. It's really scary. It's really scary. But uh, <coughs> coming back to Amber, we were speaking to you earlier, that, and we had a little bit of background. You were yeah. a sporty girl. Yeah. You were yeah, living a healthy dodgeball lifestyle. Dodgeball. Dodgeball. Do, yeah. You, you weren't. I mean. You Active. went out drinking, you no. went smoking, yeah. you were just a healthy it's young girl. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're trying to say that these are all triggers? Yeah, so they, they're all going to put you in a high percentage chance of having one. But if, I you, mean, if you live a healthy lifestyle, stress can be a factor, so I don't know yeah. if you're potentially stressful university? being at university. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we're seeing more, the, the pressure put on at university is causing yeah. more people yeah. of that age to be having strokes. Because Amber, how has, the, how has the stroke affected you? Um, I lost my... Um, Right um, side, um, right. leg and arm, um, numb. So it's completely numb, yeah. no movement. Yeah, um, I was um, right side, um, yeah. Right handed. Yes, that yeah. was your um, I learned to yeah. learn um, learn to write um, uh, right handed. Uh, Right, no, left. Left. Yeah, left hand. Left yeah. hand is yes. always better anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Left handed. Yeah, that, 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 that <laughs> must have been it. such a challenge. <laughs> yeah. So, Becky, there's the advert, isn't there? The fast advert. Yeah. So tell us a bit about that. Amazing. Right. Uh, have you seen it on TV? Amazing. I have. Yeah. It's yeah. All over the media. Can I see if I can remember yeah. it? Yes, go for it. Face. Yeah. Has their face dropped on one side? Yeah. yeah. Um, arms, can they raise both arms? Yeah. Right. Um, S, speech. Yeah. yeah. And then T, time to act fast. Yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. Brilliant. And Brilliant. the more I've people know that, the better. The yes. quicker you get to hospital, the quicker recovery and the better recovery you have. If you sit at home and wait and see if you get, feel better, then your stroke is going to be worse and your recovery is going to be harder. Because, the, um, again, call me ignorant, but I always associated strokes with older people. Yeah, you know, you whenever do, I, whenever your I nan heard, or exactly, yeah. whenever I heard anybody had had a stroke, it would always be like, oh, my friend's nan or yeah. Yeah. Oh, my nan, yeah. um, for well, example. They say 150,000 people each year will have a stroke in yeah. the UK. But how many of them are of Amber's age range? So 400 of them each year will be under the age of 18, yeah. which means oh from 18 so up, many. they're in the 150. Yeah. So 20 year olds, early 30s will all be yeah. in the 150,000. So that's yeah. one every five minutes. It, it just it just really makes you think. <coughs> I mean, you know, everybody tries to lead a healthy lifestyle, but mm. of course, yeah. the, you know, drink. Everyone likes to go out and have a drink, don't they? Yeah. And, you know, you always think you're not to binge drinking yeah. when you're going out or and it's having not a few. Happen to you. Exactly. Yeah. It's Cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. All these things that I'm going to say it, people enjoy. You know, fatty foods. It tastes yeah. so. Mm. Yeah. It's scary to think. But uh, you can't. Obviously, you can't live your life by, no. you know eating carrot sticks and yeah. just, just yeah. drinking water. You need to treat yeah. yourself every so yeah. often. Chicken and go down the gym, <laughs> even though I go down to the gym six days a week. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, um, I wanted to ask you, what kind of therapy and support have you had? Mm. Um, speech and language and OT and physio. Um, What's OT? Um, all sorts. Um, the arm exercises right, okay. and like yeah. full body physio yes yeah yeah, yeah. memories and yeah so how is your memory now because your speech um, for me is, is perfect it's, it's difficult um i um i 
um, have aphasia, um, yeah, it's difficult to um, speak. <laughs> Is, is it like uh, a concentration? Because obviously the brain has been affected, hasn't it? So yeah. is, it, is it a slowing down of like signals to that area yeah. of the brain that processes? Yes, yeah. Speech and things, yeah. Do you know what? I, I really take my hat off for you. Can, can you just, if, if there's any viewers at home that have either <laughs> suffered yeah. or know someone that's suffering, can you give them like a, a last guide or, you know, some um, tips on how to cope? Check it out. Um, um, migrams or something like um, numb feelings or check it out. So just okay. try not Doctor, to leave it yeah. and make sure you get to yeah. a doctor. Yeah. Well, Brilliant. Amber, Becky, Amber, an inspiration. And thank you very much for joining us today and talking thank about that. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, if you would like to know some more information on stroke awareness or if you would like to help, you can visit www.stroke.org.uk. Well, congratulations to the Queen on her 60th year as our monarch. That's it for us in our Diamond Jubilee edition. Now, to start this weekend off with a bang, we have the Deets performing their new song, It's Getting Better. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, Enjoy your bank holiday. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four.